Yes, you read that right. I have nearly quit editing my videos in Final Cut Pro after I learned these three game-changing tricks in Descript. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what they are. Number one, record as you go. Because if there is just one thing that you and I both struggle with, it's creating content takes so much time. So anything I can do to save time in creating the content, I'm all for it. The more I learn about Descript being more than just a transcription tool, more than just a quick way to get a rough cut of a video, the more I love this. So here's how I record as I go with Descript. I can record my screen, I can record my camera using my Canon M50 Mark II. I am using the uh, Elgato Cam Link. That's how it's picking up my camera. You could use a regular webcam if you want. For this video, my audio is coming in through the Cam Link as well. So the DJI mic is connected to the camera and that's how you're hearing me right now. I could also just use my regular like podcasting mic, which I do a lot of the time. And then I just hit record. and. After as I'm speaking, it's already transcribing my video. I can see it happening in real time. I can see my face in real time. What often happens with me is I stop and restart my sentences all the time. I it's, Sometimes it takes me like 17 times to get the right words out of my mouth or to get the words out in a way that I'm happy with them. So I have often defaulted to writing out a complete script for myself so that I don't have to have so many takes. However, that doesn't actually save me much time because I still have to do 17 takes to make sure I'm getting out my scripted content correctly. But because I can record as I go with the script, I can take a break, I can take a breath, I can stop recording and then edit everything I just said and then continue on. So by the time I'm done recording a video, I'm also done with the rough cut. There is something about recording for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or more knowing that you're going to have to go through and edit the whole entire video just to get the parts that you want to keep that adds so much more pressure to try and get it right all the time. And with Descript and recording as I go, I don't have that pressure. I don't have to get it right. I can edit it as I go and still come out with a really polished rough draft. By the way, when you find something helpful in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. The second thing is the concept of, it's sort of touted as a video editor or podcast editor that's as easy as editing a doc, like a document, like editing the actual words. And it's a little hard to get used to if you're used to editing videos in an actual video editor. But one of the things that it does that I don't think I've ever seen a video editor do is ignoring certain parts of your video instead of deleting certain parts of your video. And this kind of goes back to the whole uh, having to say something 17 times before it comes out of my mouth correctly. Sometimes I have fragments of a sentence where I said the thing that I really wanted to say and then the second half of another sentence actually makes more sense. I want to put them together. And when you're editing with, say, Final Cut, for example, you would have to like cut up all the parts and just start kind of like matching things up by moving those clips around. With Descript, all of the clips are there, all of the script is there, and you don't have to delete the parts where you mess up. You can ignore the parts where you mess up and just kind of test and see, will this sentence flow together nicely. Now you might be thinking that doesn't really seem like that big of a deal. The fact that you can see the words and see the script and just casually easily just kind of play around with what is included and what is not included in the finished piece without having to go down and like chop up the whole timeline and move stuff around. Huge time saver. Now I will admit I'm I'm not never going to use Final Cut or any other video editor again but for a majority of the videos that I create where it's a talking head style maybe with some b-roll for just my regular youtube videos descript is the bomb do people still say that and i love that multicam is a possibility with descript too so multicam is where you record 
from one camera and another camera at the same time, for example, or often what I do is record one camera with my A roll, and then I may also record my screen. So I have two different kind of tracks going, but they're being recorded at the same time. That's a multi cam edit. And it's so simple. All I have to do is line up those waveforms to make sure they're both starting at the exact same time. And now I can chop this up and edit it just like any old multi cam sequence. I like using Descript for this because it's simple and easy for a simple YouTube video setup. Talk to me in the comments about this. Have you been using Descript? Did you know about some of these tricks? Is there something that you love that I haven't even mentioned? Personally, what I've been doing a lot lately for my YouTube videos is talking head with some B-roll, which is easy to edit in Descript, talking head with a screen recording, which I can then edit in Descript, unless the screen recording is pretty in depth, in which case, I will bring that into ScreenFlow and edit it in ScreenFlow because ScreenFlow is a whole screen recording uh, beast. There's so many functions to make screen recordings easier to watch, easier to follow, especially if it's like a software specific tutorial. So I do use ScreenFlow for the in-depth tutorials. Now, if I had a video that is more like a vlog, which I don't really vlog, but if I had a video that I had a lot of different shots and a lot of different B-roll and a lot of different cuts and I wasn't really sure of how I wanted it all to fit together, then I would definitely just pull that into Final Cut Pro. I used a script to make it really easy to batch my short form videos, like my shorts, my TikToks, in conjunction with some other game changing apps that make it just an absolute breeze to create short form content and automatically repurpose it across the different platforms. So I'll cue that video up for you here. 